What's up guys, we are back once again with more Sunship content for you. Today we're going to be showing you exactly how to make every tier 2 ink colour that you can make currently in the game under one single roof. Now for those that aren't aware, there is currently 10 different colours of level 2 ink you can make and in order to make this design possible we're going to be importing the five primary colors so if you can see here we've set up a nice little operation to generate all the primary colors here and we're going to be importing these five colors into our other factory in order to make those tier two inks so with that in place let's jump into our sandbox building and show you how to make this design now we're using a level eight basic factory here which is 20 by 16 20 across 16 up so what we're going to need first of all is some glass bottle production. As you can see we placed down four synthesizers in the middle. These synthesizers are going to be used to produce the glass bottles we need to bottle up all these different ink colours. So what we're going to do is put some splitters around a couple of them whilst also heating them up with our heaters. We've got them coming out at all different angles so we can utilise the whole factory floor and have access to bottles in every direction no matter where the ink's produced. We're then going to place our blower buildings down. We need to have these in sets of three to create the glass bottles themselves. Now we're just going to shoot the final one up just to maximise the amount of space we've got in this factory. We're then going to select our recipes on all of them, glass tubes, glass spheres and finally those glass bottles. Now with those in place we can start to import our five primary ink colours. We're going to start with the top left corner here and import the Casablanca colour. We're going to bring it out about a third of the way across the factory. We're then going to start to place some regular grabbers on this belt to take the inks, place them in to these extractors before being combined with the chemical mixer to make the secondary tier two colours. Now this first colour we're going to make is Hippie Green. So in order to do that we're going to need the Casablanca colour and we're also going to need Summer Sky Blue. Now we're going to import the Summer Sky Blue in this bottom left corner here. We're going to bring this out a few spaces. And then we're going to use a regular grabber, pull this belt around. Place another regular grabber to transport the inks into the extractor and those two inks will combine to create the hippie green colour and that is the first colour of 10 that we need as part of this build. Now in order to finalise the process and export this we need to get some glass bottles so we're going to split this line off here, take that directly into the applier itself, turn that round and then place down the exporter. Now if we give this a little test now we can see we are producing the hippie green colour from that first one so that's our first colour in the bag and being exported. The next colour on our list is light brown and that is formulated with Casablanca and carbon black. So we're going to need another exporter here. We're going to put it in the bottom corner next to our summer sky, import the carbon black colour and what we're going to do is take the standard grabber here, place that straight into an extractor, turn the pipe round into the chemical mixer and we're going to bring down the Casablanca colour from the top using an underground belt like so into the extractor and those two colours will mix to form that light brown colour. Now we're going to need an applier again as we've just used. We're going to direct the second glass bottle supply straight into it, splitting it off so we can use another round later on and then exporting. If we give this a whirl, you can see we've now added the light brown colour to that mix and that's our second colour down. Our next colour is going to be dark red which is a mixture of carbon black and red mercury so we're going to need another input here red mercury putting this down in the bottom right hand corner here selecting the correct colour splitting off this carbon black supply bringing that all the way down. We're going to put this straight into an extractor here followed by the chemical mixer for the red mercury we're going to split this off, belt it round and place another extractor down going straight into this chemical mixer. Now we'll place an applier right on top of this and we're going to belt these glass bottles down to the supplier and then export. Turning this on, we can see we've added the dark red colour to the mix which is great. 
Now next on our color list is orange, which is a mixture of red mercury and Casablanca. So we've got two opposing corners here that we're gonna to need to link these colors together for. What we're gonna do is underground belt the remaining supply from the splitter all the way across like so. And put another underground belt up to the top like so. Place our two extractors either side of the chemical mixer. We're going to pipe this round into the applier just to make our glass bottles a bit easier to reach and then export it like so. Turn this on, we can see we've added the orange colour to our mix so everything's progressing nicely. Next we've got lemon yellow which is a mixture of Casablanca and titanium white. Now titanium white is the last of the primary colours we haven't imported yet. I'm going to put it in this top right hand corner here and because these are both on the top we are simply going to belt these together, place our extractors down and our chemical mixer, placing our applier just below. Belting the glass bottle production over to this. We're splitting it off again just to save supply for later on and putting down the exporter straight after. Turning this on and we can see we've added the lemon yellow colour. Now we're halfway there now, we've got five left to do. Next up is Bahama Blue, which is Carbon Black and Summer Sky. So we're working in this bottom left corner here. What we're gonna do is underground belt this supply of Summer Sky. Place our extractor down, followed by our chemical mixer. And in order to get the Carbon Black there, we're gonna pinch some supply from the bottom belt here, put this straight into the extractor and into the chemical mixer. And then gonna place our applier down and our exporter and we're going to use the final belt from the glass bottle production into that applier. Turning it on we can see we've made the Bahama blue colour. Next up we've got aqua blue which is a mixture of summer sky and titanium white. Now in order to get the summer sky over to the top right hand corner we're going to place down another grabber here followed by an underground belt. Take this all the way over to the other side like so. We're going to belt this round. Into the extractor, followed by the chemical mixer. And in order to get the titanium white, we're just going to split this off and simply direct that into the extractor. Now all we need is our applier, followed by our exporter and we're going to use the other supply of glass bottles straight into the applier like so. Turn it on and we can see we've got the aqua blue coming into our transit, which is fantastic. If we turn this off, the next colour is Comet, which is a mixture of carbon black and titanium white. So in order to get these together, we're going to place a grabber followed by underground belt all the way down. I'm going to underground belt it once more. And in order to get the carbon black, we're gonna use a standard long grabber here to take it from the belt at the very bottom, place it on this belt, and then follow the usual extractor, chemical mixer, extractor. I'm gonna pipe this down, split off the supply once more of glass bottles, place down our applier, and get our exporter down, turning this on. You can see we've added Comet to the list, so we're progressing really well here. Just a few more to do. Next one is Cobalt Violet, which is a mixture of red mercury and summer sky, so red and blue here. In order to do that, we're just going to siphon some of the supply off of this bottom right-hand corner with, with the red mercury. Belt this up, place down a second standard grabber to insert straight in, into the extractor, place our chemical mixer down, and we're just gonna take some of the supply from this blue line here, again, straight into the extractor, place our applier down and our exporter. I'm then gonna use our glass bottle supply here, place our splitter down to separate the supply once more and then straight into the applier like so. If we turn this on, we can see we're now producing the cobalt violet and that's another one on the list ticked off. Next up we have Geraldine, which is a mixture of red, mercury and titanium white. 
bit easier on this one. If we start off in the top left corner here, we're going to use a grabber to take some of the white supply here into the extractor, into the chemical mixer. And to get the red mercury, we're going to use a standard grabber here, followed by some underground belt. Now in order to get the ink over to the applier, we're going to use an underground pipe there, followed by the applier, and finally the exporter. Belt that all together, and we should see that colour added to the list. And there it is. And there we have it guys, all 10 different ink colours here. We didn't even need to use this final leg of blow building, so you can get rid of that, move these all down, save yourself a little bit of space. And there you have it inside a level 8 basic factory. We've got all those colours being produced just from the 5 primary colours we're importing here. And this is going to give you a nice steady supply for all your different colour needs. If you want to produce some elaborate floor tiles or some great designs, you've got plenty of colours to now use at your leisure. So now we've got all our devices in place, we're producing all these inks, it's now time to check on the total cost for this blueprint. If we go into the blueprint here, we can see it's going to cost us 238k. Now that's mainly due to all the expensive devices we've got in place here. The blower buildings, the chemical mixers, they're not cheap, they all add up and that is why we're getting the total here. So if we save this blueprint and go into our basic factory here, what you can do is stock up on all the devices you'll need for this build bit by bit and that'll bring the cost down dramatically when you come to import this design. So if we drag this across here, we can see this design is only costing us 80k now because we've got a lot of the devices already in storage bringing down the costs. So we're going to place this down here, we're going to turn this factory on and we can see we're producing all of these tier 2 inks as promised and they're going to go straight into our storage capacity to use on our future printing projects, whatever they may be. We hope this design has helped you out guys, we know the inks aren't the most easiest thing to make so we hope we've provided a bit of clarity on that and feel free to copy this design onto your sand chip as well if you want to. We'll be back next time with more sand chip content so until then stay tuned and see you next time, bye bye.